you'd see all the houses there just like matchboxes, mm. splintered up into like matchwood. Every now and then you walk down the street, that house had been knocked out and there was just a heap of rubble. And uh, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't one house, there were quite a few. And the buzz bombs that came over, these mm. flying bombs, and you'd hear them coming, boom, 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 and then they'd stop. Oh, yeah. And then you'd have to dive for cover. Mm. And I was having a bath in the Comforts Fund hostel in Stone Square, sitting in the bath with the window up. Bill, about 10 o'clock in the morning, I looked out the boom and buzz bomb went past the window. And then I heard the thump, and my pilot had left me, and he'd gone around, he'd gone to Australia House, and he was actually on a bus in the Strand mm. when the bomb went off. Mm. And uh, he didn't get injured, but uh, huge explosions they were. That's what happened. Well, it's like survival, you know. You know, why did I survive and others didn't? Mm. You just wonder how it works out. It's just amazing, really. Some are lucky and some aren't. You, you count your blessings.